It's time for the GizWiz with Matt's Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1981, recorded Thursday, March 28th, 2024. Storage by the Gallon. On this episode of the GizWiz, Dicky D has two more gadgets from Spring Fling. He also has a unique storage solution plat plus the last of my office gadgets, and this one will help with the medical bills. All next on the GizWiz! It's the same dumb show with Dicky D. And OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs. Growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now! And here he is, our medical bill consultant, Dick D. Bartola. <laughs> How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir. I'm looking for this thing. It pays your bills automatically? Well, don't tell me. No, okay. not quite, no. But it not may quite. it may help avoid some unnecessary medical bills. Wow. Wow. <sighs> Big claims from a small gadget. That's All the, right. The no, crappy corner. Good. You got something to look forward to. <laughs> that sounds uh, very good. <laughs> Uh, uh, we're having a terrible spring here, raining and oh no, and wind and I don't I don't think we've hit fifty yet. Ah. I think I think during the winter we hit sixty at some point, but not <laughs> not in spring. Uh, so. so far, it has been warming up over here in Florida. It has been windy and rainy, definitely, oh. but a lot warmer today. Once the wind died down, it was a, it was like 75, the sun oh. was out, it was amazing, it was amazing. So, no, I we think get we these little fit. windows of absolutely perfect days, and then a reminder that it's the wet season kind of the rest of the time at the moment. Yeah. The fun is, Mother Nature doesn't care. Cherry trees in the park are blooming, the, low, the uh, tulips are up. Oh, and I found out something interesting. Uh, I've been feed, feeding uh, the squirrels uh, when we go out with Charlie into the park. A lot of squirrels running around. Um, so I started bringing uh, shelled peanuts to the park. and But now the birds and the pigeons follow the squirrels. <laughs> so as soon as you put something down, in, unless the squirrel... <laughs> Is like the road runner. Yeah. The the birds pounce. So, yeah. No, they oh they don't. They, oh. they just they go and they beat the squirrel to the nut. So <laughs> there's, a, there's another lady feeding them, and I said to her, "How are you feeding them? Because every nut I put down, she said, "Oh, she said I carry sh sh peanuts in a shell because the birds don't want it." Oh. And so oh. I bought a five pounds of peanuts in a shell. And the squirrels are very funny. Every squirrel does the same thing. They pick it up. They smell one end. They flip it over in their fingers. They smell the other end. And then they just take it and bring it somewhere. I'm not sure <laughs> what they're checking for. It's like a dog that needs to meet its neighbor, you know. Is that sniff one end, meet the front, meet yeah, the yeah, end, yeah, and yeah, then we're good. Uh, it's, it's like that. I, I can't determine <laughs> it's if they're nature. looking it's like... Mother Nature, it's built in. <laughs> yes. You it, should see, very... can you just buy acorns? There's something like only squirrels would like... I mean, I guess the shelled peanuts. The shell, no, this, work, this works fine. This yeah. works fine. So. That is so funny. <laughs> okay. Smells the same. Checks uh, out. Uh, Let's okay, head out. I can take this. I can take this home. <laughs> this works. This works. Have you me. ever seen one rejected? No. Mm, that may tell you no. something. This is a they, scientific they, problem. We we've got to investigate. <laughs> they like it. That's great. They like it. <laughs> and yeah, you, mostly, what's happening there? Oh gosh, uh, mostly the weather uh, changing to be warmer. There's been a, a day or two that I've been able to make it out to the pool. You may see me. We should do like a, a color <laughs> comparison. See how tan I get over time, because with the move to Florida, I'm definitely trying to spend as much time outside as I can. Oh, I'm going you, should, you have to put pool gadgets on your Yeah, outdoor list. adventure gadgets. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh, pool gadget. I actually, in fact, 
So I have. Is it your pool in your backyard? No, 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 no. So it's this like is like a community pool. Yes, exactly, exactly. Oh, okay. So, so okay. now that I, uh, I, you know, I went from a homeowner to a renter, and I am fully embracing the renter <laughs> lifestyle. I love it because you know, not so much in New York, maybe, but. In Florida, all these apartments have insane amenities. Like they have their own pool that you can use for, for that the apartment maintains, or a gym, or some of them have um, car washing stations or pet washing stations. Or and I can think of a whole bunch of you know. Yeah, there's a, no, not no, no, no. And so here we have a front door. <laughs> we have a bell. A, Boiler that boils water in the basement. A boiler. Yes. A mailbox. Yeah. Um, trash on the stoop. The, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so anyway, I uh, when I was you know li owning my house, of course, I dreamed of the day that I could own a pool, and you know I, I could see a neighbor or two that had a pool. And now that I'm renting, oh my, you know. <laughs> Something to be said about renting. I don't gotta worry about the pool at all. I could just go over to you know. Once you buy the pool, hey, that's a super. Exp you know, if you were doing it privately, like in yeah, my own house, yeah, yeah, yeah. Buy the pool, crazy expensive. I mean, that's like fifty thousand dollars gone. And then maintaining the pool is either a headache for you, uh, or you have to hire that out. That's a few hundred dollars a month. Not to mention any other maintenance issues that you might have. You know, we had that big freeze in Texas. I know the people with pools. Oh, right. Yeah. They, man, that was a that was a big deal. And so now that I'm a renter, it's like I get access to a pool. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it. And it's a nice big pool with loungers and and wow. tables and stuff. You know, I don't know. I've just uh, I really I really see the light when it comes. And when I was younger, weirdly, I feel like I never appreciated that. I you know moving out into college, it's like, who wants to go to the pool with all these strangers? <laughs> anyway, my life has changed. Uh, that's my update uh, for the week. Okay, the okay. pool is awesome. Um, <laughs> with, I tell you, we'll, we'll jump in. Uh, so the first thing is there are two things in this video. One is uh, do you know the toy called uh, Stumble Guys? Stump. Oh, the game. Yeah, the, the game. Is it a yeah. game called Stumble Guys? I think it's a no, video game. It's a video game. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's a video game. Okay, so Stumble Guys was showing a, a company is now building or, or making plush toys and uh, tangible toys to play outside of the video game. Oh. Uh, but they had a money booth. A, mo and, a booth? They were giving you know, away, away yeah, free you know, money? Where you, where, where, where you go in and you can catch money. Yes, well, there, it's like a money tornado. You're yes, like yes, yes, yes. Okay. Catching and stuffing. So in you'll, a... you'll see me in the booth. Oh, fine. And I said, do you, do you get to keep the money? And she said, uh, no, it, it's fake <laughs> money. And I said, it looks very real. She said, no, it's fake money. Uh, and, and so, when, well, you see the whole thing, but I don't think it's fake money. Oh, my okay, gosh. Okay. This and, is going to be our new also, strategy to fund the show. We just got to go yes, there. Exactly. Exactly. Find, and, find uh, the free learned, money pits. Yeah. Uh, I learned one thing. When you get in, in a, uh, a booth like that, it does cut the mic out for some oh, reason. Oh, yeah, probably. Things yeah. can't get through there. And second of all, I don't know how mic. I don't know what happened to Mike, but I just did 30 seconds of her showing the toys and then I put in a 30 second commercial so you could see that. And then there's something new from Nerf at the end. So here we go. Oh, the money. The money. Show me the money. Yeah, that looks like real a real yeah, $5 yeah, wait, yeah, yeah, bill. Yeah. There's no way that's fake money. I know. I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking. How, how? That's a real twenty there. Yes. Check out. You got a lot of stuff on that. Whoa. I got this twenty dollars. My God. Did they let you keep it? No. Oh. 
Well, if it's fake. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, that was, uh, they were going to have the YouTubers come by later, and they needed to save the cash. That could be. That could be. For the big so guy. So this is, these are showing all the characters from the video game of Stumble Guys. And then to make it look a little more interesting, this is their 30-second commercial. Run fast, avoid the obstacles, and jump to be the first stumbler to be qualified. New Stumble Guys toys for you to collect. Create your own race with the included map. Discover all exclusive, collectible, and articulated action figures. Unveil the legendary keychains, figures, clip-ons, and have fun with the coolest plush collection. Stumble to victory. Get the new Stumble Guys collectible toy line from PMI. As I was leaving the event, I was handed the Nerf Super Soaker XP100. So I went online to find it. There it is, Nerf Super Soaker XP100. What a blast. And I'm thinking, how could this thing be 48 or almost $49? So I kept looking, I put in micro, and then finally I found that this is actually the nano, okay, <laughs> the nano <laughs> super soaker for like five bucks. It's said to shoot 18 feet, but it's been very cold in New York. One night it was 27, so I don't want to be shooting uh, mini icicles. Uh, so in the summer I'll try it, okay? But they're both called the XP100. Super Soaker. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Also, I, I was thinking, I wonder how the people who make World's Smallest feel about, <laughs> you know, I guess the World's Smallest would be way smaller than this one, okay? Yeah, this they one. still, I guess they give them a centimeter or two to, yeah. uh, to make it. This, <laughs> yeah, I know. They're kind of after, this is like the first yeah, party. I, this is like uh, they took the idea and made it themselves. I can't imagine how this could shoot 18. water eighteen feet. But I'll There's try it when it gets when it gets warmer. A big, a but big if, room. Yeah, yeah, in the backyard. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. That is so um, funny. So the anyway. st stumble guys thing is pretty interesting. So stumble guys. Is very is a game that's very similar to another game called Fall Guys. Fall Guys became super popular and kind of kind of took over internet culture for a little while. Um, and so, it looks and, like and isn't there a, a TV game show that's sort of like this too? Uh, you're thinking of uh, yeah. There's a, a few sort of like wacky. Sort of shows where you're Big like balls, yeah, roll jumping down on stuff, and wipe, and knock out, wipe out. There's there's yes, a few yes, different, think, yeah. No. And the video game is very. It's all they're all using each other as inspiration. Yes, definitely. And so you have this little character, and you're you're avoiding obstacles, and you may start with a hundred other real people all trying to get to the end, and the first person to get through all the obstacles wins. Um, and each game may last like, you know, five, seven minutes, that type oh, of thing. Oh, okay, okay. Um, and so a lot of these are, would be a lot of the characters. So this is a lot of almost like merchandise for the, for the show and for the, or for the show, yeah. for the video game. Um, yeah, she cool. said, yeah, yeah, like from 10 to $25. Oh, you can buy the whole set for like 30 bucks instead of buying <laughs> individually. Anyway, if you're a Stumble Guy fan, you can now buy... That's not 18 feet. Maybe they meant 18 inches. <laughs> no, it says feet. I'm wondering, though, if... Okay, so what does that mean? Feeling a drop of water from 18 feet away? <laughs> oh, you're right. Yeah, yes. You know, is that what that means? You know, like someone spit on you from 18 feet away? <laughs> like, I think that would count. Um, that is so funny. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, yeah. good. Uh, all right, so now I found something very interesting, and this is it. Looking for a way to add more storage. I saw this on Amazon. World famous brand called Installation. Ah, okay. I've heard of them a lot. This, I yes, think yes. This instruction book is really. It is all the languages, and you have to. And English is like the third or fourth one. And so we'll figure it out. All right. So 
It is a storage stackable cube. Wow, packs down like the small. Indu- I like industrial green. Um, yeah, it looks brown in the video. Open side. Oh, oh the uh-huh. ends are green. Uh-huh. Open back. That's also wrong because it's the front. <laughs> it locked it. It. Was that magnets? It, it builds oh. itself. There's a wipe there. It, it's so typical. Dennis has been having trouble with uh, his little Google device, asking it to play uh, his favorite uh, B, BG Adair. I shouldn't say it too loud. So it would not do it, and I went in and tried it, and it wouldn't do it. <laughs> and then... It decided, now's the time. Start recording. It starts playing it very loud. <laughs> and, you know... Copyright infringement. So that's why we had to stop and pick this up. All right, so we open the next thing. It just locked in place. And then open the next one. And you just click it, and it's in place. And then... Wait a minute. Oh, I was going to say, where's the... Where's the top? What the... You know what? These are cool. These are nice. Oh, and locking handles. Look at this. What in God's name? You pull the handle out to close it and to open it. I like this a lot. I think it's 35 bucks. Uh, And it comes in different colors. See the top? You can stack them and then lock them. And, oh my goodness, has built-in wheels. This is, you know what? As you saw, this was amazingly easy to build. And in the commercial, they show putting toys in it. So we're going to put our little... uh, giraffe in here. Oh, no. He doesn't fit. What's going on? Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Oh. He, he, he definitely won't fit he's now. definitely not going to fit. He's, got, he's expanding. <laughs> I'll have to get a second one and make a hole in the top. He's going to have to go sideways. <laughs> this is from Magoo. <laughs> My neighbors. No. <laughs> I don't want to wake the neighbors. When you're tired of Good hearing night, them, you just put them away. Good night. <laughs> you know what? Anyway, that's some... it. Uh, we'll find out the name on Amazon. I, I really think this is pretty swell. So to answer someone in the chat room, it does say that you can open the doors or open the top oh. to get whatever's in there out. Uh, but also you can buy stacking units, and of course, then only the top unit will open. But, but I thought it was very clever. The interesting thing was, it was, I think, oh, uh, can you go to to their website? Yeah, I think it was Amazon. 36 bucks. Yeah, 30, yeah, 35.99. Yeah, 30, right. And and you can buy a stack of 3 for 80, uh, 80 90 dollars, so it would be 30 dollars each. But Last night when I was typing up the show, I was on Amazon trying to find the link to this, and I found a link to a different company. Look at this. Ah. I So I, I ordered these, and I'll do it on next week's show. If they're the same, they look the same. They're only 12 bucks each. 12 bucks. That would be amazing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. They're, they're slightly different. Yeah, but and does this big pass? Difference. Is that uh, hole on this side? Does that go all the way through? No, the hole I think is uh, is is a handle. I can't. I, I think it was. I think it did not go all the way through. Interesting. But, These are really cool. Yeah. You know, they both. Someone's saying they think it's smaller. They. I've never seen things like this measured in gallons. <laughs> 
<laughs> but th- this is 13 gal. This one's 13 gallons, and the other one was 13 gallons. Oh, uh, yeah. So. I have about nah, five gallons of T-shirts and maybe hmm, 10 <laughs> gallons of pants. Yeah. I got a store. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. You know yeah. what? I didn't. It wasn't big enough because I forgot I had two quarts of socks. <laughs> this is not. This is not Americans not knowing metric system. Okay, I think that this <laughs> is. You know, the factories in China. They're trying to get on the Americans uh, in the American market, and they're like, "What do they use? They use gallons. Gallons. That's what not they in. Get. They don't use meters. <laughs> they use gallons over there." Tell them how they do it in gallons. They'll be so happy and buy so many of our boxes. It was very funny. Uh, anyway, it's interesting. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah. They yeah. seem sturdy, we'll see. and I can't believe how quickly it snapped together. I, I, yeah. And easy I to unassemble, too? Like, that was, a, I guess, a, def- a definite thought was I could, if I, <laughs> if it was temporary, like, winter clothes, I could now store the storage by folding it and putting it away. Or they kind of snap together and they're locked together. You know what? You can unsnap it. It says you can snap it and store it. It's three and a half inches high in its folded position. Interesting. So cool. I like these. Yeah. Uh, oh. If the if the twelve dollar ones yeah. worked, that'd be the way to go. Now I was a little sad that the wheels seemed to be locked in a like in one orientation. Yes. And if I wanted to store it the other way, I wish that I could like rotate. You know, have it slide yeah. a different way. But the reason they did that is because th- when you stack them, the, the groove falls the groove for in, the, into the way the wheels the sit. I see. So I see. you're right. You're yeah. right. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Very very cool. What else you got um, for us? Uh, I have something that. Well, the the story's in the video. I was cleaning Disneyland, and Dennis walked in and said, "You know what? If you want to sweep the floor." I have a neat little gadget I just bought at the hardware store where you can sweep and collect the dirt without having to bend over. Uh, so I use it and it worked great. And so I wanted one and I wanted instant gratification. <laughs> okay. This is 10 o'clock at night. And so I go on Amazon. And you know, there are filters off to the left. So I clicked prime and next day delivery. All right. (laughs) And of course I had to get a deluxe model. So I got one that has teeth to clean the broom. And I wanted the broom to have a bigger handle. And it came today and it looks more like it might be a Bobby, Ah. like a a Bobby dollhouse size. So I thought... It's foldable. Let's see what's in it. Is it it's supposed to be bigger How foldable could it be? And sturdier than this. So I expected a longish box. Um, but anyway, if you don't know about, I didn't even realize that these gadgets were made. There are tons of them. Oh, I see. Adjustable handle. I thought it would be a ring and you would. My guess is the adjustable handle is you put in as many pieces as you want. All right, I guess that's a way to do it. All right, so then I guess that they, oh, you know, that sounds like metal. It is metal, so that's what it is. And padded handles, each each piece has a padded right. handle. And the teeth part, let me show you this. You know what? Actually, this is kind of nice. Ah! When you're done sweeping the floor, you run the broom there and pull it up. Ah, and get all that hair out. Cleans good for yeah. Charlie. Cleans this brush. Yeah. Oh, Charlie oh, doesn't I shred much. Good for your kids. Yeah. Your dog shed? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You need a yes. handle for the... Border collie, and then, you know, Charlie's like a mutt, so... And then it said, make sure you get one where one plug clicks onto the other. So yeah. Like that. You can't screw this up, uh, I don't think, but we could try. Well, you're screwing it together right now. I don't know what you're saying. All right, that's <laughs> one. I guess the deal is if you want a short handle, just leave out one of these or two of these. <laughs> this is kind of fun. It looked tiny in the box. 
sort of doesn't look like this could fit in there. They save oh, money on I... product designers. The packaging. Why? <laughs> that. And then when I'm done, I'm going to say. The only decision was Times New Roman. So that you and then can they... judge. <laughs> If, if mine is as good as yours, I said that I'm going to ha have Dennis uh, clean my apartment to see if it's as I good think as this is done. his unit. <laughs> and then it clicks on. Good pl plan. Yeah. Very good. To this. Work smarter, not harder. Get it in there. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Okay. A uh, little dinky, little dinky hardware. <laughs> it's a competition all of a little sudden. It's a plasticky thing. But it came with it came with dirt in it. So oh, you, oh, yours came with dirt. Oh, there's a bag of dirt in here. Oh no, dirt for dirt for free dirt. Send in this coupon. That is so so funny. Yeah, I I like this thing a lot, and I could not believe. Take a guess at the price. Oh, um, I'd get. Uh, uh, I mean, paid I guess, eighteen for his. Okay, I was gonna say. 25 for yours? Okay. Is and that, now you can look. Is that okay? Okay, wait. I haven't even clicked it. Oh, okay. Oh! Wait, was I... Wait. Boop. Is this right? Yeah. How, or am I not signed I, in? Is this not signed oh, in? Oh, maybe not. You know what? Maybe... Okay. I only paid $15. But maybe maybe that's why it was so cheap because I was signed in. But still, in all, twenty four dollars doesn't seem bad when yeah. his was eighteen. Yeah. Yeah, I like it honestly. I think uh, I mean, as a pet owner, that hair thing is the most annoying because the only other option, and you're swiping, and you got hairs stuck to the bristles. You go. <laughs> it's the only thing you got. Yeah. You got. Either that or you're going to go down there and pick it off with your hands. I hate that. Um, yeah. That's great. Huh. Yeah, I am interested. Uh, that It seems like it would be worth that. So, I mean, no no knock on yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, but you see that that the handle that says expandable. Doesn't it look like you can move the yeah. handle no. up or down? Yeah. They're like expandable down. <laughs> <laughs> you can remove a section if you want. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's cool. Now, have you ever seen a yeah. vacuum dustpan? Oh, this wait is the a minute. upgraded. Okay, if you're really trying to get Dennis jealous, okay, and this is like a keeping up with the what are they, the neighbors? What are they, the Jeffersons? What are they call it? Keeping up with the yeah. Jeffersons situation. The, so I saw one of these at uh, my where I get my haircuts done. So he was, you know, sweeping up the trip trimmings from the past customer. He goes up to this little thing, and he just slides it into the machine, and it sucks it up. Look at that. So oh. it's a, basically just a floor vacuum that you bring the dust close to it, and it activates... And then is there a roller in there then to suck it up? No, it's just pure suction. It, your your broom is what is moving. Oh, oh, you you sort of shove it into the right. And so see that little light? It's like detecting yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. that your broom is there. So then it turns it on. And uh, so how much would you pay for the um, vacuum? God, dust I, my pan? guess is that thing is going to be at least sixty nine ninety nine. Sixty nine ninety nine. Chat room. I have purposely hidden the price because the price shocked me. I was going to suggest that you get it, and then the the price was ninety nine ninety nine far off from what I expected. I'm so glad you was a sixty nine. Here we go. It is two hundred dollars, and I cannot find a good competitor. It doesn't seem like the only competitors are themselves, it's just a different version. It's this IVAC company, so that the only other option is like a cheaper version of the same thing. Isn't that 1400 crazy? 1400 watts, you could heat your house with it. <laughs> it's a professional piece of equipment, is what it seems like. They need. I think this uh, is a great idea. I could see, put that in the kitchen. 
And, you know, even sucks, Scooter Rex found it for $134. Even AliExpress is charging. Oh my god. Quite gosh. a lot. Yeah. Wow. That's a much less expensive. Though. That's a lot. Yeah, awesome. no, I like, uh, I'll stick with my dustpan, my manual <laughs> dustpan. <laughs> right. <laughs> At some points, the robots are just too expensive. <laughs> with that, let's move on to something that's not that expensive, but crappy. No, you in... it, but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Okie dokie, it has been teased, but here it is. The medical device that could possibly save America thousands <laughs> of dollars. Wow. Maybe. Wow. Possibly. Here it is. Now, the theme is office gadgets. So, anyway, I recorded a video. It all makes sense. Let's take a look. Hey, Diggy right. So, we are back with another crappy corner. And today, I have probably the most important medical device <laughs> in history. This is going to save I the U.S. Smell a economy so room. much money with all of the the doctor's visits that will be missed. Let me explain. Here is the gadget. This is how it comes uh, from Amazon. And uh, I've gotten, I've heard uh, through the grapevine that there is a pandemic, an epidemic, a, just a, an absolute horrible situation. Okay, people are getting carpal tunnel from this motion. Control C. Ah, oh, I can feel the cramps now. Control <laughs> V. I need to book a doctor's appointment immediately and get prescription drugs for my carpal tunnel. <sighs> this is going to save the whole medical industry a lot of money. Introducing the dedicated. You can make it really whatever you want, but here what? I think I think you got the point. The dedicated copy. Uh, and paste button. I didn't expect it to not be uh, assembled before I opened it. There we go. You can thank oh me later, God. medical industry. Uh, okay, so this is uh, the gadget. Uh, copy and paste button. Uh, it comes with a very long uh, cable, USB-A on one end, a micro, uh, a USB on the other. Same thing, micro USB over here. You got a few little feet. You have two buttons, and then, of course, it comes with all of these keycaps. You get two completely blank ones, which is kind of cool, and then you get a black paste one. So I guess if you really needed some high contrast between the copy and the paste keys, there you go. So those are the five buttons uh, that you get. Uh, you also get a little, uh, I guess this is a keycap remover which is kind of silly because there's it's pretty easy. Typically, a keycap remover is when there's like an edge or more <laughs> more keycaps. Uh, with only two, it's very simple to go in there and grab them. So a uh, keycap remover is actually pretty hilarious that they uh, provided that. They the USB cable that they give is uh, say about a meter long, so about three feet. We're gonna plug it in to a USB hub that I have here, and that will control the computer behind me. So it should be right out of the box. I think it's plug and play. I did get a cool little like animate. Oh my gosh, it's RGB on top of that. I cannot wait to read the instructions about how to <laughs> use this. Oh wait, here they are. Here's the oh, they do have start some. guide here. I'm gonna take a quick look at this, read it, and uh, see what I gotta do to get it a work in here. Let, let me just double check. If I hit this button, and then I hit this button. Oh, it works! Oh my gosh, so copy is on the left, uh, paste is on the right, so I'm hit the paste key. Done. Oh my gosh. Now, when I'm bored, you have to highlight with the mouse, copy, right? Yes. Paste. That is oh, a lot of whiz. Okay. That is some wisdom. 
Uh, I'm gonna take a quick look uh, right before uh, I uh, cut the video off, um, and uh, we'll be right back with uh, my final thoughts. Okay, so I'm glad that I'm actually <laughs> reading the instructions because um, it had the way to change it. You know, I was wondering. You know, you've got some RGB things, and I also saw online that you could actually change the keys to be different things. I'm wondering, okay, without software, without a CD, without something, how are we going to do that? They say go to sayodevice.com and it redirected to slash device. We're going to search for a device and this is it. This is the one that we have connected to the computer. It looks like it pops up in like almost like a JavaScript window. We're going to hit connect. It says there's a firmware that we updated. All of this is happening through the browser. No installation of anything. I just went to it in Chrome, which is honestly pretty cool. Oh, look at this. It's like blinking green. The browser is controlling my keyboard. Am I done? It didn't say anything, so we'll hit search again. There it is. Oh, look at this, BL mode. Interesting, okay, I'll hit connect. <laughs> wow! I'm really impressed with the two button gadget that we got, look at this. Uh, so, I wonder if this will look a little better. Okay, so I assume, look at this, I can change whatever um, mode I want. So I click this side, I can change the mode, and it mentions a description of what each of these uh, means. So if I wanted A plus B plus C plus D, is that, is that in the uh, instructions? A so you can do control all deleted see that button? In, in the instructions. Anyway, so uh, uh, yes. uh, it looks like it's not exactly right, but pretty kind of cool. Custom mode, do not use, <laughs> is one of the modes. Okay. That's a little bit suspicious, uh, but you can see how you could change all of this to, to whatever you want. Here's the light settings over here. So I should be able to change. It looks like I'm changing, I guess this one. Oh, it's a gradient. Let's not go to a gradient. Let's go to static. Let's set it just to straight up red. Submit. We got it on red. Look at that. We'll turn the other one to a nice Gizwiz green, submit. Oh, I'm still on gradient. Let me go to static. And then we can go to Gizwiz green, submit, there we go. And we got a little red green action. I'm pretty impressed uh, with it. Obviously it's a little bit weird. We all saw some weird stuff in the menus. Um, but honestly, uh, for what it is, I think it's uh, pretty cool, it is useful, and uh, you can kind of customize do whatever you want. Back to you guys. Yeah, so basically, like you had mentioned, uh, Control-Alt-Delete, is yeah, you could set this to be uh, a key command of multiple keys, you could set it to, to be uh, like a repeating thing, you can, you can kind of customize what the actual buttons do through that interface online. It looked a little hacky. Could, yeah. Could someone get into your computer through that? I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So my thought is it is just a keyboard. I don't think it'll copy. I, it, to me, the worry would be like key, key scraping, like key, cop, copying down key data. But uh, this isn't like a pass room or anything. It's its own little thing. You're not going to be typed, you know, as long as you don't feed it your password in the web page thing as like a fast key thing, um, I don't think it's going to be able to really do any anything um, okay. to, to your system. Um, so yeah, you could have it type LOL faster. You can make it say LOL. <laughs> uh, inexpensive. So it's uh, only $12.99. There's a $2 coupon available. It comes in a few different colors. Uh, and then of Did course... Did you save Scooter X's... <laughs> Yes. In Sweet. fact, this may be one of the better, you know, sometimes they're hit, sometimes they're missed. This is a hit. Hit, ladies and gentlemen. We have found this gadget for so inexpensive. By we, I mean Scooter X has found. Is this it the same? Very similar for 50 oh cents. Oh my God. One, that, uh, not even one, sorry. Zero for nine. 49 cents, uh, free shipping. And uh, oh. same two keys. Now it looks like the the LED may be just a singular LED instead of the dual LED. Oh I don't know. It looks a gosh. bit different, but pff, 
So what? And then uh, he also found, uh, or they also found a three version. Look at this. Copy, oh, I like that. Cut. And that one is also only 50 cents. What? Yeah. Yeah. And look, there's their Holy little software. Yeah. Mini keyboard. In fact, what's funny is I think I've had this mini keyboard software installed on my computer before. Um, but yeah, I think this is just really incredible. If you want dedicated keys, I'm sure we found a three version, found a two version. I'm sure there's a one version. You want a single no, button? No, I like this. Yeah, I'd like to have control all delete as one key. Yeah. Boop. And then uh, here, I could, I might be able to see if I can make this work right now. Um, Oh, I put my hub down there, so no, I can't. Um, but anyway, that's uh, the idea. If you want to get it from Amazon, 10 bucks. If you want to get it from AliExpress, 50 cents. Um, <laughs> so uh, maybe, uh, the, and I think it's a very good office gadget, maybe a medical gadget, uh, maybe. Uh, the jury's still out on it being carpal tunnel, the uh, the cure for carpal tunnel, but. Oh, okay. Um, it might, it might, uh, save, save a few, a few folks. Uh, with that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Rock on. Okay, no one sent in a new viewer video this week, but uh, someone who signs their email, a forever fan, Ooh. Selena, <laughs> Selena Johnson, a.k.a. OG Mom. My mom! OMG says, Mom. Hi, Dick and Chad. I saw this article, thought of the Gizwiz show and the iconic drinking bird. I thought you would enjoy learning that the drinking bird has the ability to convert energy into electricity. And she was originally reading it in a CNN article that is current, but she said that she found an old video. Well, she found the video. <laughs> And it I is very that. old. I mean, the video is 10 years old. It's four by three. It's so old. 16 years old. Look at that. 16 years old. But she said like the first two minutes of it are pretty interesting. Okay. So let's play it. And uh, what you're looking at right now is the solution to the world's energy problems. And I'm not being <laughs> facetious here, but this, uh, that little bird you see bobbing back and forth. What, we found out about this was an invention, though, in the back in the 30s. 16 years ago? A uh, very inexpensive item, probably sells for less than $10. And uh, don't ask me how it works, but it has something to do with thermodynamics and heat engines, and there's some substance inside the bird's body there, and when he takes a drink of water, he basically cools the top portion of his head and the substance inside his body goes down, and it really goes on sort of like perpetual energy forever. And what I've done is connected the shaft uh, where that bird is revolving around to a little electric generator. There it is right there. I took it off of a uh, little uh, CD player. And uh, a motor and a generator are really the same. If you turn a motor, it produces electricity. And those wires then are hooked up to this little... Uh, microamp meter and you can see every time that bird moves you see that little meter there that's generating oh I'd say about three microamps of electricity <laughs> ah. now that's not a munificent amount of munificent, electricity but the we're word, talking millions new of these word birds today. working in tandem so that's where you come in uh, we're looking for some serious investors here uh, if you don't have more than a million bucks don't even bother calling me but we need a <laughs> place to house all these birds and uh, I got a couple little, uh, small little minor details to work out. But uh, basically, if we get enough of these birds working together and hook them all up and hook them up to the grid, it's going to solve the world's uh, energy problems. Now, if you'll notice, he's an, he's an envir environmentally friendly guy. You could go out there There's if you no want. You, can, you, you can also tell it's 16 years old because the format of the YouTube video is just gone. 
One shot. <laughs> a guy just talking. That's that's great. That wow. is a riot. So you do we need like several us. Actually, million we're older than this video. <laughs> The Kiss Wiz is an older show than this video, oh, isn't it? Oh, that's very funny. <laughs> yeah, that's very funny. <laughs> Wait, this video was uploaded two years after the first Giz Wiz. Oh, my God. We cannot oh make God. fun of this bird. That is so funny. No, this we is had breaking one news two years into the Giz Wiz show. <laughs> that's crazy. That is Sorry, so it, took, it took a little while, but we finally reported on it. Yeah, yes, exactly. Selena, get us the stuff sooner. Yeah, exactly. No, that was, Selena, that's a very funny video. Thank you for finding that. I just feel like we need to uh, invest in them with that many milli micro ants. You know, I'm no <laughs> mathematician, but eventually it seems like I'd amount to something. What do we need? 5,000, 6,000? Yeah. Of them, you know. Yeah. Well, well, could, uh, you could charge your phone in like a week. Exactly. I mean, it's a few milliamps, so we'll need at least a milli, so a thousand. So then, if we want to get like five amps, which is like a typical charge, you only need 5,000 birds! Free energy! Exactly. <sighs> exactly. That's great. That's great. Okay, well, how yes. if people do have videos, how can they send them? Okay, back? so we do need a video, a video for next week's show. We're looking for someone new, okay? Someone who hasn't made a video before, just use your smartphone, uh, horizontal format. You can be in it if you want, or just talk over it as you show the gadget. Any kind of a gadget, new, old, a gadget you love, a gadget you hate, uh, one to three minutes, put it up on YouTube. When you upload it, there will be a drop-down menu. You can click unlisted, and you'll get a URL from YouTube where the video is and then only people with that URL can see your video and email it to us mail at gizwiz.tv. If we show it, we're showing 99% of everything that comes in. You will get the current issue of mad magazine and fame and possibly pennies from people uh, who watch it. Uh, here on the Gizwiz Show. Mail at gizwiz.tv. Do it now. Do it this week. Now. Do it quickly. With that, let's move on to the letter. Now. Now. Uh, Lawrence Wengler, W-E-N-G-L-E-R, writes... Hi, Dick and Chad. I found the new software tool from Google ah. that keeps me occupied for hours. If you like using Google Earth, this is for you. It's called Google Earth Studio, and it can be found at this link. You want to just – do you have that email? Yeah. Let me get it up. Uh, I'll have to – it's requesting permission to access – my Google account? Oh, okay. No, it's Don't fine. Bother. It's uh, Google Earth Studio. Looks interesting here. I can kind of show you what I'm, I'm looking at here. Um, but it's like a timeline. You get a really cool view. Yeah. Well, you know what? You can continue with his video because oh. he said, here's a sample video I created. It's Chad's dream home. Oh. In Orlando. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, zooming oh, in. Oh, uh, huh? uh, ah, wait, uh, this is the castle at Magic Kingdom. Well, that's your dream home, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, honestly, I can't, I can't argue with that, actually. Yeah. And I think that's a good repute. I mean, dreams do come true, they say, uh, <laughs> at that location. So I hope Disney's listening. Um, so, it's, so it's sort of like creating an image... A drone image without needing to have a drone. Yeah. And Except you can do it any place on Earth. Yes. Yes. Uh, That's really, said, really cool. He said, I hope you and your viewers find it as much fun as I do. Google Earth Studio. Man, that is so cool. And it's going to be so sad when they shut it down in three years. 
Because <laughs> that's what Google Lawrence. does with Google products. <laughs> yes, they do. They do. <laughs> Lawrence Wenger, thank you for that. Lawrence, that is really cool. Um, it, it reminds me of, gosh, what was it? Um, Steam, when this was way back in the day, uh, Team Fortress uh, had this really cool, like, cutscene animator tool and uh, they released that just to the public for people just to kind of use the tool um, and it, it reminds me of that because that seems very you know camera shot making animation zoom from one spot to another um, pretty cool very very cool um, and then uh, you know I, I, it also feels like you're slightly a NASA you know NSA not NASA NSA like let me zoom into the building. Yeah, Let's get no, the satellite absolutely. Satellite imagery, 3D modeled. <laughs> anyway, I think it's very, very cool. Um, and oh, and Scooter X is uh, sh sharing. It looks like they did uh, Google. That is kind of have a little introduction to it. Oh. So you can kind of learn. Oh, well, that ended kind of quickly. <laughs> Never mind. I was hoping to see a few snippets anyway very cool um that can be found just at earth.google.com slash studio earth.google.com slash studio uh, i want to say thank you to our patrons from the bottom of my heart thank you guys so 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 much for supporting our show we really 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 appreciate the support uh, our Patreon is where people support our show every single episode. It's a community. We all hang out there. The chat room, the chat, uh, the <laughs> comments in, uh, on the Patreon are fantastic. And uh, just love. I love y'all over there on Patreon. So thank you so, so, so much for your support. If you like the Gizwiz, please consider giving back. Patreon.com slash Gizwiz is the place to do that. You can also head on over to gizwiz.tv. Click on the Patreon tab at the top of our website. There's a big old banner there that'll take you to Patreon or tiny little link that'll take you to PayPal so that you can uh, donate via PayPal if you want to donate via PayPal. I said PayPal so many times that it sounds a little weird <laughs> to me now. PayPal, PayPal, PayPal. Um, head on over to gizwiz.tv where you can watch the show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time when we are live. The website will just update with the live stream and we will be there live. And join the chat room while you're at it. The chat room is full of fantastic folks. So much so, I couldn't say commenters before. The chat room was just on my mind. Uh, mm -hmm. They're a great group of people who uh, are here whenever we uh, do a live show. And lots of people also show up for the Giz Fizz. Don't forget about the Giz Fizz. That'll happen uh, the day before the Giz Wiz on Wednesday, an hour later, 5.30 Pacific time, 8.30 Eastern time. Uh, <laughs> And head on to gizwiz.biz, it's Diggy D's website where he writes up articles about all of the gadgets that we talk about on this show. So if you ever need a reminder about a gadget or a gizmo that we cover, head on over to gizwiz.biz. While you're there, play What the Heck Is It? The Game Show Online, where you get to answer the question, what gadget is this? Uh, mm -hmm. And I think I know. This is a new pair of shoes for the <laughs> duck feet movement you know that uh mm -hmm. it's a running style it's the duck the duck foot run it's supposed to burn calories anyway sounds, have good. You <laughs> sounds good <laughs> if you think you know what this is get a guessing gizwiz.biz Six Mad Magazines for correct answers, 12 Mad Magazines for funny, clever, or hilarious answers. So get a guessing over at gizwiz.biz. That wraps up for our show. We'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>